PID is a great gas detection technology. It can detect hundreds of volatile organic compound gases. It has a dynamic detection range from many thousands of parts per million down to part per billion levels, and it also boasts a fast response time. All this makes PID an ideal gas detection technology for a wide range of applications. For all these great features, PID is non-selective. It can't differentiate between the gases it detects. The detectability of PID towards gases also varies. For example, a concentration of one gas may give a different response to the same concentration of another. Isobutylene gas is commonly used to calibrate PID instruments as it's relatively harmless at lower concentrations and offers a robust response. Many iron science PID instruments are calibrated using isobutylene, which is allocated a response factor of 1. Other VOC gases are allocated response factors relating to that of isobutylene. Compared to isobutylene, gases with response factors lower than 1 are more detectable, and gases with higher response factors are less so. Some VOCs are undetectable. This illustration shows an instrument calibrated on isobutylene. Isobutylene is also selected on the instrument, so the response factor used is 1. The reading is therefore correct. If the same instrument is then presented with 10 ppm toluene, the reading will be incorrect. Toluene gives a stronger response than isobutylene to the same concentration. If toluene gas is then selected on the instrument, the toluene response factor is used. The instrument will then read correctly. It's important to note that response factors can only offer the correct reading if the selected gas is the only detectable gas present. For more information, go to ionscience.com. Music